All right, farmers, welcome back to the channel. So the patch 1.2 is finally arrived on Xbox, if you're like me. So what we're going to do now, obviously there's a lot of information that I'd already put in a video earlier on. So this is just a look at so the equipment that's come out and a couple of other little bits. So stick around for that. So first up, we have got this here. This is the Abbey. 550 and then it's bigger sibling the Abbey 1600 so you're going to find both of these in the menu under animals because they are water holders water tankers whatever you want to call it so you've got the 550 there it's three grand to buy and you've got a change of rim color as an option white gray black or chrome and then you can change the license plate if you so wish. Then the 1600 is exactly the same. Same options on the wheels and the license plate. Obviously the 1600 is a bit bigger. It's got 6056 litre tank. And the 550 has got a 2082 litre tank. So these are going to be putting water in for your animals or your greenhouses. So it's both of them smaller than the current one the smaller than the current smallest one should we say but yeah very nice indeed obviously we've seen these on the fact sheets that have come out so that's the water tankers so up next we've got this this is the amazon t-pack u so you're going to find this under miscellaneous there it's going to cost you five grand to buy as the base unit or you can add extra weights all the way up to 700 kilo so 700 plus the initial weight is going to give you a 1.2 ton extra weight on the front so this is going to be used for silo compaction if you're doing your silage so that's that very nice indeed no other options on that so it comes as it is from a color perspective so anywhere from 500 kilo to 1.2 ton then next up we've got this this is the Bomec track pack so this is a slurry spreader it's going to attach to the back of your slurry tanker and we'll have a little further look at this later on so we'll come back to that and next up we have got the case IH Steiger quad track AFS connect series set if you want to call it that the first one here we've got the road track we've then got the quad track and we've then got the wheeled track if you want to call it that you're going to find these all under large tractors so we'll go and find these right so we got the road track one there we've got a couple of different options on the engine so we've got 468 524 558 and that's it on the engine options so no color changes and then on the quad track you got the 524 558 613 647 692 on the engine options and then for the wheeled version you have got a couple of different options on the tires and then you've got 524 558 613 647 692 on the engine options so obviously this is a, a fan favorite in 19 so it's always great to see it come back this will go up against the john deere 9rx and the t9 is it from new holland so you've got the three-way on the tracked vehicles for that one and then obviously the two sister ones if that's what you're into very nice indeed right so next up we got the Flegel agritechnic noah ttw 140 so this is an animal trailer so you'll find this under tools and as you can imagine under animal transport so it's going to carry six cows 13 pigs and 13 sheep no option on there to carry horses it's going to cost you 25 grand 
and there's no options other than changing the number plate so that's very nice indeed so what you do when you hook it up you lower it down the back doors open and you put your animals in if you're collecting your animals from the dealer yourself so that's very nice indeed so that's the flegal right on to the next few we're gonna have to whip through these because there's quite a lot of information on the go so we've got on the front here we have got the kong's guild gxf 3605p and then on the back of that we've got the kong's guild gxt 13 005p I've murdered them names and these are mowers so you'll find these in the shop as you can imagine under mowers so you've got the front one there it's going to cost you 15 grand to buy no options and then the one on the back is one option on it and that adds the swathing capability so that's going to add 15 grand to the price so it's 149 and a half grand to buy standard and then 164 and a half grand to buy if you want the swathing option now this is quite big you got 12.3 meter on the back one and 3.5 meter on the front one but they are rather expensive you got the next one down you got the pottinger nova cat which is 10 meter that's 75 grand but you got this kong's guild one which is 12.3 so 2.3 meter extra it's twice as expensive for an extra two meters options are options if that's what you want to go for so i've set it up here and we'll just take a little look when we unfold it there we are so that's unfolded nicely so then you've got the option there no there we are option there toggle work mode so we've currently got it at wide spreading so that'll just mow it and leave the grass where it is you can then have swath dropping left swath dropping right swath dropping or back to wide spreading so that's your options on that so it is a tidy size that is 12 point is it 12.2 meter width so that's going to get your mowing done pretty quick if you can afford it so that is that on the mowing right so once you've done your mowing you can then get one of these the crone big pack 1290 hdp vc so this is a baler square baler and it also has the option of having the additive tank on it so you'll find this as you can imagine under balers there we are 155 grand standard if you want to add the tank it's an extra two grand and that is it on the options so if you're doing silage and you want that tank on the back and you fill it up and then it will put the grass in a bale with silage and then you chuck it into the food mixer and you should get that added bonus that is apparently five percent although in the previous video that i did i didn't really see much benefit but then it may add the benefit once you get to feeding your cows we'll, we'll see on another video on that one that needs a bit more testing but that <clears throat> is a nice big baler it reminds me of the ones we got in the straw harvest pack dlc on 19 that sort of style but yeah very nice indeed obviously you have got on the options if i remember correctly the 180 to 240 centimeter bale size if you want to do that different size bales yeah very nice indeed right the next one is from crone as well this is the gx 250 sorry gx 520 now this has got a nice little party trick let me go grab a tractor right so we grab the quad track because that seems to be a fan favorite now what you can do with this is you can open the back door like that without unloading and the floor moves I'm zooming now you got the front bit there it says 
tip side sliding floor forward so that's going to take it towards the tractor if we change that it's got sliding floor backwards so we can now go into LB option it's got turn sliding floor on so the floor is coming forward to you so what you can do we'll pull it forward a little bit it's not exactly lightning fast but mind you there we are we turn that off now if we changed it to sliding floor forward you could put something on the back here say a pallet or a bale or whatever then tie, turn the sliding floor onwards and it's going to pull it in so you haven't got to worry about chucking things over the side you could just put it on the back and slide it all in that's excellent so you could use this for your crop and you could also use it for your pallets if you so wished that's nice that is that is very nice I do like that so close it all off close the sides over and we're all done excellent right so on to the next one here we have got the Kuhn Primor 15070 this is a bale shredder and you'll find this under animals 36 and a half grand to buy no options on it it does what it does you can get two bales in but if you open it up you could actually stack four bales if you so wished so what you're going to use this for is when you're putting straw into your animals whether it's cows or horses or pigs yeah that's the only three that take straw you put the bales in the back after you've got them off the field you open it all up turn it on and it fires straw straight into your barn it's going to use this for bedding so that is very nice indeed obviously we have got one already in the game there i've got two haven't we got that one there the ra142 and then we've also got the anderson pro chop 150 so this is slightly bigger giving you the option to as i said before stack up the four bales and you can get more done very nice indeed right on to the next one we've got the landini series 7 robo 6 so we've got landini in the game already with a smaller tractor for doing your olives or your grapes but this is the slightly bigger one so you'll find this under medium tractors when it loads up there we are okay you've got a couple of options on the tires you can add front loader attach it if you really must and then you've got the engine options so standards 190 210 225 so that's your options on the engines and then you can change the main color from blue to metallic blue oh that's a nice chrome blue that is very nice indeed and then you can change i'll get down here change the rim color from standard to black that does look nice black rims with the chrome blue that does look very nice so that's the Landini tractor. Excellent. Now next to that, we've got the Samaz Tornado 252. So you're going to find this under tools. And you're going to find it under miscellaneous. No, you won't. You're going to find it under winter equipment. Nine and a half grand to buy. No options on it. And it's a snowplow. So if you're playing with seasons on and you're getting snow sticking so that's going to be more than a one day month you can use this to get rid of your snow get it out of the way and then your traction is going to be loads better excellent always like a nice snow plow right so the last of the equipment today and we're going to team it up with the bomec track pack is this this is the the vervate hydro trike 5x5 so you're going to find this under miscellaneous 346 and a half grand to buy get options on the tires and then design you've got the standard 
or the launch edition whichever one you want to go for doesn't cost you anything different so this is a slurry tanker so we'll get in turn it on and that, that does sound nice that does right so on the options there you've got lb with the right stick up and down will move the pipe out if you want to simulate taking slurry out of your slurry tank you also got the option to unfold which is going to move those front of the rear axles out to give it a bit more stability when you're going around the corner so obviously a three-wheeler like the old star robin reliance are not the most stable so that is very nice so what we'll do with this we're going to need something like the bomec track pack that we've got here so you hook it up to the three point link on the back like so and then once your tank's filled up with slurry you just unfold it this is why i said we're coming back to it there we are nice unfolding motion and then you lower it down you turn it on and you would go slurry spreading if i had any in the tank so Going back to the Bomec track pack, like I said, you're going to find this under tools and under slurry tanks. There we are. 62 grand to buy, 18 meter working width. No options apart from the license plate that you can change. And it's an applicator for your slurry tanker. Very nice indeed. I mean, this tank does sound nice got a nice engine sound to it good working width with the two combined excellent right so that's the equipment finished for today and we've got a couple of placeables now the first one here is this little trailer so you find this under construction menu and under farmhouses so it's going to cost you 20 grand to buy rather than the 150 grand standard farmhouse that comes in the game now you can only have one per farm because it's a sleep trigger and it's a trailer so if you're going down that role play sort of thing starting off on your farm you're not going to be able to afford 150 grand to buy straight away so this is a nice little 20 grand starter home so it's got the same sleep trigger as everything else. Starts off at 5 o'clock all the way up to 9 o'clock. Sleep through the night. Yeah, very nice indeed. Also, placeables is this old barn. Decent size on there. You can go inside. Keep all your equipment or some of your equipment. Excellent. These doors open. Now... So you've got a nice drive through there to store your equipment away from the rain or the snow, whatever's going on. Very nice indeed. You'll find this under the construction menu again, under buildings and sheds. There we are. Eight grand to buy. Very nice indeed. So that's the two placeables that come in with this update. Now there is a couple of extra things I want to show you that has been added. So we'll take this barn for example. So we'll go back into the construction menu. Right, so we've got a barn here. Now you see in the top left hand corner you've got toggle free mode off. Yep, yeah, so when you come close it's saying collides with player because that's where I'm stood at the minute. And also overlaps with another object so if we change that to on by pressing y on the xbox like me it says there placing objects in free mode can cause issues with the functionality of the objects or vehicles but allows more freedom of placement it's your responsibility to flatten the terrain use this at your own risk okay so what this now allows you to do is overlap the objects so as you can see here, before it would say object overlaps. 
Now you can place things wherever you want to. But there is, like the warning said, some issues that may arise if you place things wrong. So if you want to maximize your space and place the barns really close together like that, you can do. There we are. Two barns right next door to each other. Roofs touching. Little gap. You've got two barns as close as possible. Now this may cause some issues if you're placing a sow point that needs a certain amount of space around for everything to work but if it's just placeables like this that's excellent you can place them really close together very nice indeed right now on to the last couple of things i want to show you is it says there about weed information on the field info screen so what we've got here we've got this field it's owned by me and it's fertilized 50 percent so there's no weed information that's because there's no weeds in this field. If we go over to the next field that we also own, take a quick run over, there is weeds in this field. There we are. It says weed, it says owned by you, crop type sorghum, ready to be harvested, yield bonus is plus 78%, fertilizer 100%, and weeds large. So if we want to get that 78% plus bonus, we're going to have to take care of these weeds before we harvest it. So it's saying large there. So obviously you've got different growth stages on your weeds. So if they're first small, you're going to be able to use a weeder. Anything larger than that, you're going to need to spray them. Now, for the last thing that I've seen on the differences with this update. If you go into your menu and go onto the main map, is this it's changed what you can see on the map so if we go for weeds it's now giving you different growth stages on your weeds before it was just if it's got weeds it's just pink that field is pink regardless of what growth stage at it was at it would just be a solid pink now it gives you the information of what growth stage these are at like the same with your crops you know, you've got a different colour greens and then orange when it's ready to harvest. With this, you've got the same with weeds. So the light green is first growth stage. And then all the way, I can imagine that's going to be withered at the end. Gives you total information on what's going on with them weeds. So if we zoom out, there we are on these fields. You've got the total end there. I'm assuming that's withered. And then you also if we turn the weed option off you've got one for stones turn that on and you've got different color stones so you've got the dark yellow which is going to be small stones you then got orange which is medium stones and you then got red which is going to be the large stones so this is going to tell you what you need to do to get rid of stones so the small stones you're going to be able to roll it in medium and large you're going to need to pick them off a the field so this is another visual clue about what you need to do to get your fields ready also if we turn that off we can turn on whether the field's been mulched or not now on this map so far none of the fields have been mulched but if it had it would show up as purple also oh back to it right if we turn that off and turn it needs rolling on it's now showing you if you own that field whether it needs rolling or not so this is another thing that they've added into the information to get your fields ready to give you the best possible harvest that is excellent excellent indeed so you've got your usual there crop based type seed type whatever you want to do but you go on to that one it says needs rolling although saying that doesn't say about oh, well done bear with me a minute right i actually had plowing turn off okay so you now got the option there obviously of all your different types of ground preparation 
So you've got weeds, fertilising, whether it needs ploughing, whether it needs lime, whether it needs rolling, which is a new one, whether it needs mulching, and what type of stones you got. So we've now got the full plethora, shall we say, of options, information of what you need to do for that field to get it ready. So that is excellent, really excellent. So it tells you what you need to do. Brilliant. Right, so that is it for all the visual information equipment updates that we've had today drop it in the comments below which one's your favorite are you going to be using any particular piece of information or a particular piece of equipment we'll see which one comes out on top but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one